A new preservative to prevent damage from insects and mold in oriented strand board is ready to hit the American market and will soon be available in Canada too. The product is called Cobra Crush. It's environment and human friendly, and it was developed by an Alberta company, Genix Incorporated, with some help from the Alberta Research Council. Wesley Wall is the vice president of product development with Genix. Cobra Crush is a combination of copper and boron that's melted in a furnace at a high temperature, and then、uh, it's crushed into a very small micron-sized beads of glass. And that glass product is what we're hoping to market to the、uh, oriented strand board industry for producing panels. Now, how would it be used in oriented strand board? Cobra Crush is going to be a value-added preservative product that can be incorporated right at the mill for protection. Uh, or protecting the OSB from insects, decay, and mold. What's the concern with mold? Mold is becoming more and more of a concern in the、uh, home construction industry or even commercial buildings, where you have moisture ingress or leaks from water, and you end up getting damage to the wood products, and mold starts to grow on it. There is a health concern、uh, that's perceived by the population, by the general public. And so we've done a tremendous amount of research to prove that the Cobra Crush product itself will control mold in wood products or anything that's made from cellulose. What we're trying to do, though, is really make the OSB product even better than it is today, so we can reach more markets in an export environment, i.e., the deep southern U.S., New Orleans, Louisiana, and even over into Japan and and China. Or other tropical climates, where typically OSB would find a, a harder fit there because of the insect、uh, problem. All wood products have that issue in those countries as well. Now, this is actually building on another product that you have. What's that? The original version of our product was called Cobra Rod, and it was taking the same copper borate formulation and melting it, putting it together in a、uh, rod form similar to the, a piece of chalk. For all of us that are older, we know what chalk was like in a schoolroom. That chalk.、Uh, Length rod,、uh, it's a green color, was inserted inside of a utility pole. So we developed this technology in the utility industry. We have roughly a hundred utility companies in North America now that use this technology to extend the life of their power poles, and it does a very effective job. How it works is the glass material when it gets wetted up from moisture that's naturally in wood、uh, at the ground line in these utility poles, it dissolves and it moves with the water. Wherever the water goes in the wood, the product goes along with the water, and thereby sets up a nice chemical regime to stop decay. Where did the idea for this come from? A tremendous amount of research was done by our company in the late '80s and early '90s. And while I was going to the university, I had some very helpful professors that steered us in certain directions. So over time, a lot of research went on. We did connect with a Danish engineer in Denmark that also、uh, helped us with the melting process. Uh, to develop our product today, so this is something that your company actually holds the patent on. You invented it. Yes,、uh, we contracted the Alberta Research Council in our early days to develop this product and develop the whole process for making it, with the understanding that our company could patent the technology, which we did. We now hold、uh, over seven patents on different variations of the Cobra Crush copper borate technology. In the past, there's been a fair bit of concern over the environmental and、uh, health aspects from other treated woods. How are you dealing with that with your product? The two components that we use, copper and boron, are in a mineral form. You can actually find those two fractions in fertilizer today. So when the material finally leaches out of a utility pole, for example, and it will over time, nothing lasts forever. Even nuclear waste doesn't. You'll find that. The copper and boron become background levels of fertilizer for the surrounding vegetation. So very safe from an environmental standpoint. We had to do a tremendous number of tests to prove to Health Canada before they would grant us a label that would allow us to sell a product to an OSB producer or any other wood composite producer.、Uh, we had to prove to them that it wouldn't cause cancer, that it wouldn't cause skin irritation, that it wouldn't cause inhalation issues, that it wouldn't be an allergen. We have no volatile organic compounds in our Mix so there is no odor to our chemical at all. So it's a wonderful chemical from that standpoint. It has a lot of health and safety built into it for use in a home construction. And by the way, it is the only preservative in Canada. It and boron alone 
are the only ones in Canada that are approved for use indoors. Everything else has to be used outdoors. Ours is the only formulation that you can actually use indoor as well as outdoor. What sort of problems did you have to overcome in the development of this? Some of the issues in the early days were trying to get our melting process perfected, and that took some time. And that's where we had the, the Research Council heavily involved in, a, uh, in the project with us. A lot of the other hurdles have been meeting the regulatory regime's requirements. That's been our biggest, biggest hurdle to overcome. It takes a tremendous amount of money and a tremendous amount of time, and time's probably the bigger killer because you'd like to get to market so you can start to recover some of the cash you've invested, but it's very difficult to get to market until you have an approved label from Health Canada. Thank you very much. You're welcome. That was Wesley Wall, Vice President of Product Development with Genix Incorporated. The Alberta Research Council played an important role in helping Genix develop Cobra Crush into a viable preservative for the use in manufacturing-oriented strand board. Rob Wellwood heads the Forest Products Business Unit at the Alberta Research Council. Well, there have been a couple of business units uh, work on this project. At first, it was the development of the, the Cobra Rod product. My business unit looked at taking that product and incorporating the material into panel products. What is it about the panel products or the oriented strand board that um, lends it to needing this sort of a product? Well, with a composite product, one of the advantages that you have is that you start out with small pieces and you engineer the final product from those pieces. So you can take a material that's very insoluble and mix it through, uh, either with the resin or the wax or separately, and end up with a, an insoluble material distributed throughout your product to, to give it special properties like termite resistance, fungal resistance, mold resistance, fire retardancy, that sort of thing. What kinds of things did you have to do? What kind of testing did you do? In this project with Genex, we had two ma main concerns. One was how can, how can we most effectively distribute the material throughout the product and work that into their process? And the more important one, I think, was what's the effect on the other properties? Uh, properties like bending stiffness and strength, uh, thickness, swell, water absorption. So you can't improve something like uh, fungal and mold resistance and at the same time uh, deteriorate your physical properties. So a lot of the work that we did, and this was over a couple of years, was looking in those two areas. So is that something that um, can be really tricky? If you, you know, sprinkle this stuff through or however it is that, that it goes into the system, does it really make that much difference? Anything that you add in has the potential to interfere with the chemical curing process of the resins that are used. And there's a great variety of resins used by the manufacturers, so you have to test each one of them because you don't want any surprises when you go out to the mill and there's the possibility of huge strength reductions by adding things in. Uh, some, of, some of the other studies that we've done, adding as, as little as 1% of a chemical into the board can reduce your strength properties by 50%, which is quite noticeable. The Alberta Research Council has been quite involved over the years in the development of Oriented Strand Board. Um, how does this new product and this concern over mold, how does that fit into the overall history and uh, I guess the uh, quality of the oriented strand board? From a research point of view, what I find really exciting about products like this is it opens new markets. And the, the big thing with, with any of the commodity producers right now is how can we get out of the commodity rat race and get into specialty products? And materials like the, this give you one more way to get out of commodity and into specialty products. So there is a market in the commodity area, but from a research point of view, it opens up possibilities for other products, and that takes lots of research. You mentioned that uh, specialty markets, that this is new product will help in that area. Where does Alberta stand then in terms of the overall world market for oriented strandboard? From Alberta, we ship OSB around the world. I've seen Canadian OSB in China, in Europe, uh, all over the place. 
they have different requirements in their building codes and in special applications in those countries. So there are areas where termite resistance is a requirement. There are areas where uh, they design their wall cavities in such a way that the temperature and humidity is suitable for fungal and, and mold growth. And in those areas, a, a product like, like Genix uh, just opens the door to the OSB producers. Thank you very much, Rob. You're welcome. That was Rob Wellwood, head of the Forest Products Business Unit at the Alberta Research Council. I also spoke with Wesley Wall of Genix Incorporated, the maker of Cobra Crush.